In June 2025, Baykar's Kizilelma drone emerged as a frontrunner to join the sixth generation Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, fighter jets, a development confirmed by Leonardo CEO Roberto Singolani at the Paris Air Show 2025. Italy is actively investigating several unmanned wingman platforms, including Turkey's combat ready Kizilelma and unmanned versions of the M345 and M346 trainers. This step highlights a strategic push to incorporate Turkish aerospace technology into the broader GCAP framework and signals possible shifts in NATO's air combat alliances. The GCAP initiative, a collaborative fighter jet project spearheaded by Italy, the UK, and Japan, is designing advanced unmanned, loyal wingmen to complement manned aircraft in future air combat scenarios. Among the contenders showcased at Paris, Baykar's Kizilelma stands out as a mature platform, with several Turkish defense companies having confirmed its planned operational pairing with Turkey's upcoming KAN fighter. The joint venture between Leonardo and Baykar, branded LBA Systems, strengthens Kizilelma's prospects by providing a robust industrial and technological partnership to integrate the drone into the GCAP ecosystem. Wingman drones are envisioned as unmanned systems operating alongside piloted fighters to execute high-risk missions such as reconnaissance, electronic warfare, decoys, and precision attacks. These UAVs can either act autonomously or under pilot command, extending the manned aircraft's operational scope while minimizing exposure to threats. This concept is pivotal to the sixth-generation air combat vision, focusing on networked, multi-platform synergy. While CAP's development has faced internal disagreements, especially between Italy and the UK regarding technology sharing and workload allocation, these tensions have opened opportunities for external partners like Turkey to step in. Kizilelma's accelerated development, building on Baykar's experience with Akinci and Anka, three UAVs, contrasts with the still-conceptual M345 and M346 derivatives. Italy's growing interest in the Turkish drone reflects a pragmatic approach amid geopolitical and budgetary constraints. From a technological standpoint, Kizilelma brings several advantages. It is a stealth-optimized UAV designed for supersonic speeds and versatile combat roles, capable of operating both independently and in concert with manned fighters. Unlike converted trainer drones, which require extensive redesign to fulfill combat functions, Kizilelma was built from the ground up for contested airspace operations. Its compatibility with a diverse arsenal of weapons and sensor systems positions it well ahead of the M345-M346 variants, which are likely to be limited to intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, ISR, or secondary strike missions. The Leonardo Baycar collaboration via LBA Systems is expected to accelerate interoperability tests and integration efforts. Strategically, Kizilelma's potential role within GCAP has far-reaching implications. It may deepen Turkish-European defense ties and facilitate broader NATO interoperability. With Japan, the UK, and Sweden also engaged in GCAP discussions, the inclusion of a Turkish UAV through Leonardo's partnership could serve as a conduit linking southern NATO members with Indo-Pacific allies. Moreover, this development shifts power balances within Europe's defense industrial landscape, offering a counterpoint to French-led initiatives and enhancing NATO's autonomy in advanced aerospace technology. The confirmation of Baykar's Kizilelma as a leading candidate for GCAP wingman duties, as announced by Leonardo's CEO during Paris Air Show 2025, underscores the UAV's growing prominence in shaping the next era of air combat. Beyond a mere technical choice, this reflects how multinational collaborations and industrial pragmatism are transforming future aerial warfare. As Italy and Turkey have strengthened their partnership through LBA systems, Kizilelma is poised not only to operate alongside Turkey's KN fighter but also alongside GCAP man jets, setting a new standard for multinational UAV integration within NATO's evolving air combat doctrine.